Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And we're on the road right now. We're in Savannah, Georgia, and we're going to be covering the story in depth for you today from Savannah. All right, so this story is something we thought would take a little more time than something we could do on Tesla Time News. And this is a story about UBS analyst Colin Langan. And him and other analysts have come out with things over the past few weeks, um, which have been basically shorting Tesla stock. Yep. Colin, in particular, thinks that Tesla stock should be at 160, which is unbelievably low. Right. Um, and his big reason that he cited, and let me quote him here, the UBS Evidence Lab, whatever that is, estimated that the average drive time to the nearest TSLA supercharger is 31 minutes versus the average drive time to the nearest gas station is only four minutes. So what he's basically saying is, is that Tesla's gonna have to spend $8 billion to expand its Tesla supercharger network uh, if they wanna compete with gas stations. Well, but there's one huge problem with that argument, yeah. which is that you just charge your car at home. Yeah. So uh, Colin seems to be ignoring the fact that electric cars are not the same as ICE cars. Right. Um, you don't have to drive them to a, a special station to fill them up with electricity. You can plug it in at your house. You could plug it in at your grandmother's house. I mean, especially if you have a charger at your house, you, that's where you're going to be charging for 99% of the time. The supercharger network is just so you can get long distances like what we're doing right now. Um, we're driving all the way down to the keys. Right. So how does a, an analyst, and you know, we wouldn't even be covering this story if this was just a comment on a video or something like that, but right. these analysts are big time. When they say something, people listen, people move their investment money around. So is he doing this just to get the stock to drop so that he can get in at the bottom, so to speak? Right. Or is he just so clueless that he thinks that this is how much money they're going to have to spend to expand their network? I would be afraid to put my name attached to this kind of I don't even know what to call it. It's really not a smart analysis in any way. It's just completely wrong. Um, and it misleads people. So people right. who don't know much about EVs, who don't possibly have an EV yet or whatever, they're going to think, oh, well, Tesla, they're just clueless. They they need to build out their supercharging network so much more. It's not possible, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, to get to three, to be four minutes away from a, a Tesla supercharger at all times, I mean, that would be like if they were as prevalent as gas stations. And they really don't need to be. No. I mean, there's almost no cases where, you know, you're going to wake up in the morning with no, you know, electricity in the Well, another thing I'd like to point out is that electricity is universal. So, I mean, if you're not near a Tesla supercharger, you could still be near a level two charger of any kind um, in order to get juice for your car. And every, I mean, it's not, it's municipalities, it's different companies. They're, they're all building out charging networks. So right. as every day, not only is Tesla building out their network, but there's there's different places to charge throughout the world getting going online. That's true. And, I mean... Like, we're at a Tesla destination charger right now, which is something that Colin completely ignores. That's true. There are thousands of destination chargers going online all the time because they're much smaller and cheaper infrastructure to put in place. Like, our hotel, we're charging Sparky at the hotel destination charger. Right. So it's not a supercharger, but it charges pretty darn fast, and we're not doing anything here anyway but sleeping, so that's a perfect opportunity to be charging our car. And that can happen at a restaurant, an attraction, a parking lot, a hotel. And those are going online all over the place because it brought us to this hotel. If, if this hotel didn't have a destination charger, we, we wouldn't, wouldn't be, be here, here tonight. That's true. So that's another thing that he completely ignores. And I like this quote here from TMC member B. Garrett who came up with a really great uh, idea, really great quote. TMC predicts oil companies will need to spend $320 billion to expand their gasoline stations network to compete with Tesla home charging. So, I mean, right. Basically, everyone has their own gas station at their house, except you, you know, you're charging your Tesla. Um, yeah, it's with, your, exactly. I mean, it's the equivalent of having a gas station in the right. sense that... Um, and, and I don't want to say everybody. It, there are there are cases like in, in certain urban environments and stuff where it can be very hard to install a charger. But as soon as more landlords and more um, building owners understand how important this is and start realizing that it's a plus to have them, it's a value. then there will it will be almost universal that there'll be places all over to charge your car. Right. And charging at home makes a lot of sense. Right. I mean, think of all the time that you save not having to go to a gas station. You're just going home anyway right. or, and then work 
there's lots of businesses now that, that are putting in EV charging stations. It, right. it attracts people to their to their companies. Right. So, I don't know. We were just so kind of incensed by this story because he's not the only analyst to do this. Right. And they always set these low target numbers for Tesla as if as if Elon and Tesla have completely ignored some of these facts. It's the other car manufacturers who are ignoring these facts. Right. Is it not true that electric cars are going to become the major form of transportation? Yeah. So if that's the fact, then how come none of the other car manufacturers are installing charging networks of their own? And it's only after companies like VW get sued because they did so many wrong things that they have to put billions of dollars into charging networks, not by their own choice. Right. And even then, I mean, are they going to be as good as the Tesla supercharger network? Right. It still remains to be seen. Right. We'd love to hear your comments. Uh, maybe we missed something. Uh, maybe maybe Colin has got some kind of point that we're missing. We'd love to hear what it might be. Or maybe you're just as incensed as we are and you'd like to pile on to, uh, <laughs> to Colin's, to Colin's is, uh, bad analysis of the situation. And also, give us some comments about what you think Tesla stock is going to hit because I think this is just the beginning of a long, long ride. Yeah, me too. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know.